Hello, welcome to Mimi Sleepstakes. I am Arnell. I'm here today to share with you what I have been up to the past couple of months. I have been missing in action, but unfortunately life got in the way of doing videos and um, just doing other things that needed to be done. As a lot of you know, we had, or maybe you don't know if you're new, we had a fire in our house about a year ago on the 27th of july last year and we've been in a rental unit they finally started working on our house in april and um, so we've been busy with that the insurance claim uh, picking up bathtubs flooring lights all kinds of stuff to um, finish or get our house back to what it should be so we can move back in uh, we don't have a definite date yet for when we'll be back in our own house they said hopefully middle of august but i think that is not gonna happen but we'll see what what happens anyway what we've been up to the past couple of months is the house and then i also got sick in may there was a couple of weeks there that was extremely unproductive and frustrating because, you know, you kind of want to do things, but there's just no way that you can get to everything you need to do. And then after that, we got busy uh, uh, getting the stock, stock for the shop up and go going again. We made, we packaged up a lot of paper, dyed, ironed, put it in the paper press, packaged it up. I'll show you a little bit of that. And then we also started making some little paper um, fabric packs, freebies that will go out soon. And I'll show you a little bit of that. So this whole vi video is kind of like the studio vlog. I just wanted to show you what we've been up to while I've been gone. The girls have been helping me a lot um, as well as my friends thank you for everybody's help i really really appreciate it i can do half of this without your help and support and, and you guys as well watching subscribing leaving comments i will be back doing that on a regular basis again i'm i'm not going to commit to a video schedule as of at the moment just because i don't know when we'll be moving in to our house and moving back into the house will be a big project again um, so hopefully we can can just get back to normal soon because i can tell you this has been anything but normal for the past year it's just there's you kind of have no control over what's happening in your life it all gets run by the insurance company and um, contractors schedules you, you kind of just have to go with the flow of everything but you know life goes on and we can't sit around for a year and wait so hopefully like i said we'll be back in that in our house soon and we can move on
has my little storage closet with all the papers in baskets. They are all labeled and ready to be packed up and orders for orders. So each package just ready to go. So happy this is done. It makes packing up and order so much easier. The other big project we've been working on is putting together these beginner packs for snippet rolls as well as needle books. And I'll share uh, more about that in a upcoming videos. Uh, we started basically, let's go over here, with a big laundry basket filled with um, just offcuts and little pieces from, that was donated to the quilt shop. And then we worked it down to like a quarter of the basket that we're taking back to the, um, uh, the slow stitch group for the quilt shop. And then it goes down to this. So from here, we'll pack the, the packs into this. And I'll just show you how we went about this. The first step is to cut all of these pieces into smaller usable squares some of them you just have to tidy up so i'm going to start doing that So I'm almost done with this um, big basket of fabrics, just finishing it off um, quickly, as quick as possible. I am just cutting squares that I know I can use in the kits if it's too small or um, not totally the right size. I just put it on the little pile here and that pile will go for the ladies at the slow stitch group. Um, I do try to cut the little pieces off even for the pieces that's going to the slow stitch group because um, you know if it's not a usual usable usable a usable piece of fabric it's not really worth saving even though I am putting all of the teeny tiny pieces here on a 
file, separate file, because I do have a project for them. And so we'll even be using those teeny little off guts that's not going to the slow stitch group or into the kits. And this is a great way of recycling fabrics because as you can see, there's still a lot of fabric in here that's usable um, after you've made a quilt. So if you have quilting friends, ask them for their scraps. You probably don't need as many as this, but you only need really, really, really small pieces for slow stitching. You don't need huge pieces of fabric. So this container, I kind of sort it by sizes. So I need longer strips, I need bigger squares, and then smaller squares and rectangles, and then a big base piece, and you'll get a big white strip in the kit as well. So as soon as I'm done here, I'll put the slow stitch group fabrics these back into the basket and then we'll start packing kits. up for quite a long time still because there's still a lot of them to pack up but luckily the two girls are helping me and I'm not doing all of this on my own but um, yeah that is how, what we've been doing in May and what we'll probably be doing for a couple more months depending on how many packs we'll need to send with uh, with orders so please support the shops and yeah, keep your eyes open for the upcoming video to explain what these packs are all about now I think I need to um, stop and clean up my uh, studio it's or my craft room it's pretty messy at the moment so we'll, I'm gonna do that and then um, continue to give this to the girls so they can continue putting up packs and I will keep
keep working on videos so I have more content to put out on a more regular basis. Give you a quick tour of my craft room at the moment. Not a lot of has changed. I um, have an inspiration board here with things that I want to use soon. Um, some vintage ephemera and then this piece of paper that um, uh, Mel made for me on the uh, retreat that we were on a week or so ago. I still want to use that in my personal journal. And then I have this up here still with some snippet rolls and a, these cute little dolls that my friend Cheryl made for me for my birthday. They are the cutest. Uh, paper dolls with um, little lace dresses. Anyway, um, other little things here and then the messy part here that I have to clean in a minute after I've done all the fabric snips and unfortunately my uh, Shelves are very messy, like all of these probably needs to be cleaned out again. But at the moment, I'm just trying to concentrate on being creative. I'm working on this journal that I have. It's been a project that needed finishing for a long time. So I'm working on that and then just I organize my papers and what else is happening oh on my recording table i am busy recording and i've added some things from our garden my cat brought in that beautiful butterfly and um, yes so it's up there unfortunately the butterfly got the sh didn't make it through that fight and some uh, stars that my friend Dagmar gave me and just all kinds of little things on here that inspires me but I do need to clean up even the recording table and just you know just do some work in here so I will add show you a little bit of the cleaning process and then end this video Thank you for watching. I do appreciate your support and your patience while I was gone the past couple of months. And please be patient still because I do not know what the next couple of months will look like for us as a family. But hopefully we're back to normal very, very soon. I keep watching the channel. I would appreciate it. Leave comments, uh, suggestions if there's videos you want to see. I do have plans for a couple of videos. I will talk to you again soon and thank you for watching. Bye.